Okay, well, no, one, one more, one more, one more. My name is Jackson Knighton. I'm in uh, the Coastal Carolina Council in Charleston, South Carolina. My question is, what are your plans for including girls in the Boy Scouts of America? <laughs> okay, he asked the most controversial question you could possibly ask. That is an interesting question. Um, I can't give you a long answer, but what I'm going to tell you is uh, we have some challenges with our program design. We created Cub Scouting in 1930. 75% of families from 1930 to 1965, 75% had a stay-at-home mom. We built our entire model around a workforce that's very different. 75% of moms today are in the workforce. So we've never changed our program design. So what we have is a challenge in meeting the needs of the whole family. Parents, what they tell us again and again is they don't have enough time to spend with their kids. And so it's very difficult to have programs where you, you drop your son off and then maybe you do something else with your daughter. So we've got a lot of pressure on us in Cub Scouting for girls to be involved. Now that said, there's something incredibly powerful about what we do here. The Boy Scouts of America and the way that we do leadership in a single gender environment, that has been incredibly effective since 1910. Our researchers would tell you that at certain ages, single gender activities are better for both boys and girls. So I get a lot of pressure people say, well, why don't we just go co-ed? Why don't we have co-ed scouting because you got it in all these other countries around the world? You know, you don't do something just because everybody else is doing it. You do it because it's the right thing to do. And what we know is that if, let, let me ask this group, if we, let's say you had a co-ed troop, if we just had boys and girls, co-ed troop, who would be the patrol leaders, boys or girls? Who do, you, who, who do you think would be the majority of the patrol leaders? Okay, what you're gonna find is the adults, what you're gonna find is the adults would say girls. The youth would say probably who's ever qualified, this is what's interesting. This is where there's a lot of research. What we do know is that at certain stages, young women can advance a little faster than young men. So the real question is, would girls and would boys, would they learn the leadership fundamentals if they were together? We don't really know that. What we do know is that there's a lot of research that shows when they're separated, boys do better, girls do better. So that's our challenge. So how do we meet the needs of the whole family, but we don't lose what we know works? Uh, we're having that discussion now. We've got some models and some things that we think are pretty interesting that might be unique in a way that we approach it. And so we're asking for input. Uh, you know, we, we wanna make a very careful decision. This is not something that you do lightly. You know, if we ever had girls involved in Cub Scouting, if we had a program for young women that was similar to Boy Scouting, it would raise some big questions. Um, you know, there's a lot of young women that would say, you know, girls should get the Eagle Award. Well, you know, some would say, hey, they got the Girl Scouts, go earn the Gold Award. <laughs> some girls really like what we have to offer in Boy Scouting. But if you had a program that was different from Boy Scouting and you called it the Eagle, I think it, I think it potentially would hurt girls. Because I think everybody would say, well, it's not really the Eagle. I think the only way it would work if you had girls involved in scouting, is you probably would have to have a program that's just like Boy Scouting and the same core requirements to make Eagle. So I'd ask this group, if there is a program for young women that was just like Boy Scouting, separate, single gender, parallel to the Boy Scouts, but it had all the same requirements. If, if a girl did the exact same things as a boy did to earn Eagle, should she get the Eagle? How many yeah. think yes? Yeah. Okay. That's what, that's what we're asking. That's what we're asking across America. We're finding that's probably true. Um, we've only done one study up till now, and we've used that statistic quite often, as we said, well, 60% of adult men who are age 50 or older think girls should not get the Eagle Award. If that question was asked in the way it was asked to me, I would have agreed and said no, because here's how it was asked. The question was, should there be a pathway for girls through venturing to get Eagle? Well, I would say no, because they haven't done the same things. There's a whole lot of things they would miss. Now, as an adult male legal scout, an old guy, you ask me if there was a parallel program for young women and they did the exact same things as boys did, should they get the eagle? I would say yes. Now, that's my opinion. Others would differ. 
There's, a, there's others that would say they don't think that we should have a program for young women. They think the Girl Scouts or other programs is what young women should do. There's some that don't think girls should ever be in the Order of the Air Eagle. All of those opinions we're trying to get now because we don't have any pressure on us to make an urgent decision. Now, nobody's saying, you've got to decide on this tomorrow. We need to do what's right, and we want to do it carefully because we don't want to lose anything good that we've got. It's absolutely vital that we never lose the power of what Boy Scouting does. But we also know that today's families are a lot different than they were in 1930, and we've got to somehow meet their needs, or we're not going to be the organization that we've been in the past. If you're, if you're an Asian family, if you're a Hispanic family, that you're first generation in this country, and you don't have three generations of Eagle Scouts, you don't know who we are. You don't know what this is all about. And so we've got a way, we've got to create a way that you feel this is a program that you're interested in and you want to put your children in, or we don't have a future. So it's a very important conversation. Uh, councils are having lots of meetings about it. If you're you know, asked to come out, offer, we're asking for a youth perspective. You know, this is a decision we all have to make. But the good news is we don't have to make any decision. We don't have to make any decision soon. So uh, that was a great question. I appreciate it. And uh, it's a very, very important topic that we got to deal with. So, well, thank you.